I think I think the next game I don't I don't want to see um Saka start next game. Ross, <laughs> get on my brother. <laughs> Yo, cuzzy, what one? He don't want him taking penalties. We don't want him starting. I think he should be rested. We got players like Trossard on the bench. He's prem proven. If you're never got a, if you're never gonna have a chance. Yeah, didn't they rest him the other day? Yeah. Bro, he. So what? Bro, you need to get your tires, facts bro. right, man. Oh, oh Jesus Jesus <laughs> I think he should be dropped. Yeah. Bro. I, was, I was literally, I was literally just about to go and see that he got rested against Leeds. Yeah. It makes. So what if he's the man? So what if he's the man? <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> If you have not subscribed, because more people watch us that aren't subscribed than are subscribed, please subscribe. All you need is a Gmail account. Most people watch it on their TVs. You're signed in somewhere. Just hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Oh, you got to hit the like button as well. And, cl and click the bell. Click the bell. And don't forget to comment and share. Yeah. Yeah. See, that? now you've gone to YouTube. No, but you got to beg for it, though, innit? Allegedly. You have to. Allegedly. You have to. But you've just heard his voice. Um, He's been on Filthy many, many times. Uh, and he is a bogey team for many, many people on Filthy. He's one third of United Road. He's one third of United Road. R.I.P. Yeah, I know. What? One fourth. <laughs> oh, what? There was four people. Bolton scripts one person. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Bolton. <laughs> uh, free, free boat though, man. Free boat. He's not locked up anything but free him he didn't do it from from himself free him free him from everything that shackles him down i don't know what shackles <laughs> him but free him from it anyway welcome adam mccola thank you for having me so i'll do it i'll do it yeah come thank on guys you. thank you no 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 it's great show on this YouTube is a master of reinvention here i think what's i think what's happened adam is we've had loads of champions league winners on yeah 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 <laughs> and you <laughs> keep following them up yeah yeah we I, I, i've got free I got free. You got free? Yeah, we we got free. Champions League. Where were you in 1969? 1968. <laughs> 68, that's it. Dad weren't even born. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got two. You got, <laughs> I got two. two. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> That'll do. How many you got, Miles? Um, I'm on the way to one. I'm on the way. We got the World Cup. <laughs> 1966 World you Cup. You never won that World Cup, bro. This is what I hate about West Ham fans, man. You never won the World Cup, bro. Nobby Styles locked off you, Sabio. And so Bobby Charlton won it. There's no way we're talking about Nobby Stars. Yeah, we are. We're not <laughs> going to do it. He's going to make an appearance on Filthy today. You know how much I used to love old football, innit? Like, yeah, yeah, it. yeah. I watched the game, re like, well, not recently, say the last year, I watched Man United, Arsenal, but it was the two peak teams, Vieira, Keane, the passion. So the first 10 minutes, you had them, like, trying to win the battle of the midfield, so you could see the passion. Every guy seemed like they wanted to play for their club, so that made football better for me. But the quality, pfft, oh, stinked. 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 <laughs> stinked. <laughs> Didn't even say that. No word. No. Eee. New word. Urban Dictionary. Come yeah? on. Come on. Yeah. You like that word, didn't it? You liked it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a Miles, Miles word. Miles didn't even clock it. Miles didn't clock it. He was like, stink is right. right. <laughs> I, I was on, that, talking of algorithms, you remember with that word, I don't even know, that when I started speaking like caveman with Dan. Yes, That yes, popped yes. up the other day. Yes. So I think this one could be in a compilation, stinked. But anyway, yeah, Adam is a master of reinvention, man. He's been through so many different phases in YouTube. 10 years, you know. Is it? Is yeah, it a testimonial, I told, yeah? I you, my testimonial was in March. What are you going to do for it? Should have been in March anyway. Oh, Mine yeah. Mine was yeah, March. March. I come on filthy for it. <laughs> That's what happened. March yeah. is done. What did you start as? Just started. I remember the day I started. I was just chilling at uni. And uh, I, since, I, I was going to games anyway, like regularly. But I was just usually like sessioning and going to games and just on a mad one. And then I saw something saying, oh, if you're a United fan, get in touch. So I got in touch, did some Skype thing. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And then they were like, jump on Skype and we're gonna preview Reading, Man United Reading. So there's, there was some Sky Sports News presenter on there and me and two other, and some Reading fan that I've never seen since. And just <laughs> spoke about the game. And <laughs> since then, it was like- I remember that era. It was mad. That's, that's pre like fan engagement, but Sky were trying. A lot right. of these channels were trying. The Reading yeah, fan. fan zone. Yeah, fan and then we quality. did. Then we did like fan cams about five months later, and it just. Ah, oh, mate, I don't even want to. Wait, I don't even want to bring a downer to this, but that Reading fan. <laughs> yeah, stinked. That one stinked. <laughs> <laughs> that one stinked. <laughs> what happened? 
Do you remember that fake filthy? Back in the day. Oh, Bam. what the one with um, the son Spencer and F two. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. that was mad, bro. They had a change of heart real quick. See, I right, this is rolling straight into my element. We should have a show we reminisce. <laughs> Come on, like about feel our it. old times. <laughs> No. Well, yeah, I just don't think people would be that interested. Oh, mate. Like oh, that man. time, um, Adam, do you remember when <laughs> I, I uh, took you to a Man United event when they launched a partnership with Adidas and then someone from Man United panicked and was like, how the hell did he yeah, get in yeah. here? They used to did that a lot, you know. Yeah. Is it? They, they, they like blocked serious? a lot of things that I've tried to do or wanted to. There was one, so we, Chevrolet invited us to America. Wow. And they were like, oh, you're going to be in a Chevrolet with Rain Rooney and you're going to drive like some James Corden stuff, you know, not singing and that, just chatting to him and that. And then United were like, nah, nah, you're not. He was like, all right, cool. Something with, with Dwight York and that at Google, nah, you're not, you're not going to be there. I so remember they that, done that, that Dwight York at Google, I, even I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, like they, they used to just cross us off. I was going to have a threesome with Dwight York and is it threesome I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That stinked, that stinked, that stinked, that stinked, that stinked, that stinked, that stinked. That stinked. <laughs> now I remember the breakthrough, the breakthrough came, you got you got a uh, one matter. I remember thinking, wow, they finally got a current yeah. player on and the then, channel. But you know what happened? We interviewed one matter and when we were there with him, so I finished our interview because he started his YouTube channel that week. Mm, I remember. So that's how we yeah, did it. We YouTube, got through it. Like two him, weeks. And that's the way we normally have to do things, just go direct. And then uh, he was like, yeah, come make content with us. So we've gone there. And then after he's gone, I'm making a video for my channel now. Do you want to be in it? I was like, yeah, of course. Isn't it? <laughs> so Herrera's come and then we've made a video. Wow. We've put out our video and then he's about to launch his a week later and United told him, nah, that's yeah, not going yeah, too far. So that video was never gone oh, out. Oh, that's mad. And it was like me, Herrera, Sam Holmwood, and Matt are just playing like stupid Did games. Do they beg for it now? Because Arsenal, Arsenal used to block now on TV. It. Now they beg for N. Now they want us to go to it's getting better. I think there's new people there that are working there and that, but once upon a time, they, even even like Andy Tate, bro, got, he was he was working at the, he used to be a steward and he once got like escorted out while he was at work, bro. What? It's, yeah, it's mad. Do you know what I'd say though? And not this is probably, again, this is so inside for the viewers, right? But I think they were probably right. Yeah. I, I think Arsenal were right. I think Man United. Now, at the time. now, that it's more sophisticated. They got more control over their channels and they can counter a lot of the stuff that happens around bad decisions. Obviously, they've got, may not have got an ownership that- But they're not right though. No, they're not because right. Because these men let the sun in every week bro. Yeah. Okay. They let the Daily Mail in. These guys are okay. the ones that are okay. putting out most of the trash. Of course, you know, but, but what- So you how got, can they get what, in all the time? Because what you did was you used the club as a backdrop for your content and you used the club as a venue for your content without permission. But we so did they, nothing so that the were, fanzines and stuff haven't no, done back in the day. I, they're wrong because it's the ownership. Basically what you're talking about here is the club wanted to control you because you were able to push a narrative, which was a correct narrative and that they still exists at Man United yeah. against the ownership. Arsenal had the same narrative against their ownership. I don't know if you lot remember that. Yeah, it was yeah. all uh, crunkies out, crunkies the same out, all that stuff. There's, that's it's crunkies gone. out last season. Yeah, I remember. I remember It'll be crunky out at the end of this season. It'll be crunky out soon anyway. <laughs> yeah. I think it was the wrong decision. It clearly was out. the wrong decision. Otherwise it's it wouldn't forever be here crunkies now. out. That's what, yeah, that's what, that's no, what it's saying. not. That's what they're saying. I, I don't give a But I've realised I would have died to work for the club at one point, and now I've realized you don't need it. No. You don't need it at all. In fact, you're probably better off without yeah, it. Yeah, you might end up hating it. But the whole landscape's, like I say, with your reinvention, the whole landscape's changed in the sense that, like, the, you don't just talk about Man United now. There's no point just talking about Man United. Mm. I think the AFTV, like, all due respect, that implosion that that channel and those characters had at that point where they reached their peak and became like popular culture memes, that reset fan content, I think. And I think that helped you a lot to be able to be like, okay, look, look, we, it could be worse. What was your channel called again? Well, it used to be called Full Time Devils, now it's called Stretford Paddock. Oh, okay, yeah, Full Time. Like, there's two, there's loads. There's like United Stand and all, there's all loads yeah, there's of lo Well, we were the loads. first. Yeah, you lot was the first. Chat to them properly. Nah, he was the first, he was the first. But, man, uh, hey, this, no, I was just saying, because his thing's, his thing's separate. I'm watching the press conferences and just watching the normal press conference and out of nowhere out here. Um, oh. Adam McCola, Stratford Paddock. <laughs> Come on, my brother. What? <laughs> no, that's it's cold. mad weird, you know. The other day, I didn't want to go to a press conference, innit? And I was like, let me reevaluate this. Like, because 10 years ago, if you would have just gave me access anywhere, I would have been like dying to be there, like, you know what I mean? But you got to ask Aaron Wambasaka. 
one question and get a one word answer and then you drove home and thought that was worth it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's the problem you don't like doing interviews in environments like that though it's never going to be exactly what you wanted to do. you never want to ask questions in like that we flew all the way to portugal one time me and Vuj to talk to Cristiano Ronaldo. Vuj got right to the front <laughs> and the woman goes, all right, that's enough, Cristiano, you can go now. <laughs> We're like... That's I've fun. got one as well as it goes, us boys, Felix, Greg. We went over to Spain yeah. to do an interview with Mar Marcelo. Madrid, yeah. Madrid. And I had to do it in Spanish. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to do it in Spanish. Why? Because <laughs> he wanted to do it in Spanish. <laughs> can, you speak Sp can, can you speak Spanish? I'm panicking about speaking Spanish. Yeah, I'm outside doing quick Spanish lessons, man. Trust me. <laughs> Felix is helping me. He's, he's calming Can me down. Can you speak Spanish? So how are you helping him? <laughs> no, it was, we, had, we, had a, we had a translator. He had to keep speak very simple English. But then Marcelo started getting annoyed that he had to hear the question twice. And was just like, I was just answering English. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, then we vibed, you know. And I, I've got one. Oh, have you? Yeah. Where they fly you When to? you kept calling Trent Alexander-Arnold, <laughs> Trent Alexander-Arnold. They didn't even fly though, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna do, he was gonna do an interview with Gwen Dozy, innit? And he couldn't speak English. Oh, right, he yeah, He had to yeah. translate yeah. French and it didn't work. So they said, no content. <laughs> 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 the best ones though aren't them ones. No, of course it's not. Like, it's like when we, I got Henry Larson by, we DM'd him and he said, come to a house in Borg next week. And I was like, all right, cool. And we went and we meet him and you're in a different environment. They want to be there. It's yeah. like Andy Cole coming on Phil or coming on. Yeah. He wanted to be there, you know what I mean? He's not being forced to be. I think they're always the best one. It's like if we ever get a current player on the show, who knows, maybe that will happen one day. Never who know. would be your ideal? I'm pushing for that. Ah, do you know what? You, my, my ideal? Oh no, don't, yeah, don't worry about <laughs> right. it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Jordan <laughs> Henderson. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Come on, T. <laughs> Uh, before we get into this episode, though, that was a nice intro, though, wasn't it? Mm, That's yeah. nice. Just setting the table, mm -hmm. showing how far back we go back with Adam. Margs has had a show with him. Steve O's had a show with him. I've had a show with him. Geordie's met him before. Miles, Miles once uh, got hotted up by Dylan White. Oh, I was with say Adam. That. <laughs> huh? I was you. Well, I was you in it. Was you there? I was going to mention. Oh, that. I was you in it. <laughs> <laughs> you are my show, bro. Not the way around. Dylan White. Dylan White. Nah, I was on it, though. You. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but he touched up his leg. <laughs> be honest. Be honest. I was on it. I was on it. I was on it. He said something about um, who, who was he fighting at the time? It was Chisora. It was Chisora. Because that's what the whole thing was about. Yeah. He yeah, yeah. said. He said in an interview. He said, if once I fight Chisora, did he beat Chisora the first fight? He beat him, but he was close. Yeah, he said what he said once. And I you told him he lost. No, 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 no. I said no. I said um. You, you said he would never fight him again. Yeah, you said you'd never fight Chisora again if you win the fight. So why are you fighting him? I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Show me why I said that. Uh, Miles drew for his fight. I said, but, but the good thing was, Miles had left his phone in the toilet. <laughs> oh. So what do you think would have happened though? Like if he gets it out and shows him like, look, no, you said it here. Does he then, it just escalates. Dylan White's not an idiot. He's smash not gonna beat up Miles. Your, <laughs> he might smash your phone though. <laughs> he might smash your phone like, look, you said it here, where? <laughs> but honestly, if he walks off set. Oh my, Jenna, you know. All right, we've got Lippy Lake because obviously he had to wait till Iftar to be able to order his food and come in and all Lippy that Lake stuff. Shop. Yeah, Lippy Lake shop, man. <laughs> That's a good one. Let me, do the, let me do the intros quickly. Let me do the intros because, all right, from my left to my right, we've introed him a lot. His name's Adam McCola. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Again. You just do a whole spill. You just did a whole spill. And sitting next to him is Arsenal's Adam McCola. He's wearing a top that Marks reckons has got A for Adam on it. <laughs> His name's Lippy Lickshot. I'm in full Arsenal attire. My anyway. brother. It's ah. mad. It's mad. <laughs> it's worth noting though, Adidas have dominated football kits for a while now. Oh, yeah. West Ham's tracksuit in 98. That was... Next up, we got a man who looks a bit like Rafael Leal and he's dressed a bit like he Rafael shoots, Leal. He smiles. Oh yeah, mad. Yeah, you I do for all. Do do it's, 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 it's the smile, it's the smile, it's the smile. It's the smile. I'm in Brighton next week. Yeah, crowd, I like Lippy. You're in Brighton there. next week? Yeah. I'm in Brighton on Friday. I'm performing though. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, that's a good night in Brighton, I've heard. That is a great night. It's the drag night, that. I don't know why I know that. I, I filmed there recently. I've done, I done three days there. I, <laughs> Stinked. <laughs> Steve, you didn't did warm up. Did. Nah, straight in. I had the food. <laughs> His hamstrings going. Next on the panel, we got a man who has now officially beaten Atletico Madrid. 
it's done. It's Congratulations. But he can't that's quite twice. get his that's BT twice. Open Zone to crack. Every time I look, his BT Open Zone. You use BT Open Zone? His name's Margs. He's got an A on his hat for Adam as well. He's got an A on his hat for Adam as well. Oh, it could be for... Advantageous. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa. Stinked. No, it doesn't. What does that mean, though? Oh. It's your boy, Big Mars from the east side. I think it's the and from when you put one colour and another colour. Next on the panel, we got a man wait, who's wait. representing... What did you say? What did you say? Oh, what the hell is that? You'll, what get, was you'll get it later. You'll get it later. <laughs> cool, cool. You'll get it later. Just as long as we're not letting that slide, though. <laughs> I tried to let him go. He's he the and. Him, he? no, no. He's the and in black and white. Oh, okay. So, okay. Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he say advantageous? Mugs, don't you have a line here? Just do it like the Athletic Club Madrid. Shut it and bury him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keep going till you get it right, man. Forget it, man. Oh, no, say it, man. Come on. They know where to bury you anyway. Tigo, you, Tigo, you, you ruined his intro. <laughs> Bury me in a strap for then. What's the other Good. end? What's so the other Alex end? Ferguson stand. Okay. And the other two? <laughs> Matt Busby? So Bobby and uh, Easter. Proper United fan. Proper bro. United Proper fan. Proper United fan. Right well, it's going to be different. I don't yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say. The Glazers. The Glazers. The Next on the panel, we got a man representing the Pittsburgh Steelers. As always. As always. Consistent. <laughs> he switched teams, he switched sports. <laughs> he picked the right week. His name's Miles. Come on, you know who it is. It's your boy Miles, aka Wiles, aka the best looking guy on YouTube. Next on the panel, we got a man who balls cold. That who? You balls, I mean, you balls cold. Yeah, you ball cold. Oh, yeah, man. Yes, that's my word. Cold. Cold. Balance, my guy. Balance. Balance. Cold. Cold. He's got balance. Cold. Cold balance. Come on. His name's Poet. He's repping Olympic Lyonnais. Come on. Shout out Lacazette. Jamaicans are the most influential in the whole world. What? Is he Jamaican? In everything. Even on Filthy Fellas. Jamaican, 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 Jamaican. Oh, Jamaican. Was from Yard. That's what I thought. I thought the, the transition went great. But cool. Is Lacazette from Yard? No, I hope so, though. <laughs> Has he got his voice back, Lippy? <laughs> Last but not least on the panel, um, as far as representing American sports, he's gone with a team that literally got knocked out of the playoffs two days ago. Not this one. This was the classic team, bruv. He's wearing it. Oh yeah, air. but it's yeah. Sponsored by Air. But the the Bulls lost though. Was that a playing game? It was a playing game. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is when uh, Michael Jordan wore the Jordans. Elevens, elevens, elevens. I didn't have the fact. I don't know why I've done that. I I'm not a fact. You know what, boys? I'm going to make a confession there. Yeah? All right. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you've even got the hat as well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a, like a facts guy. I don't really know much. Yeah, and you know what they say, boys? Bury me where it matters because... Up to part. Wait, straight away. I just understand why I was... Hey, yo. You know what they say, boys? Bury me. And follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep this going, man. Sorry, 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 Tin Man. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> go, go, go! On, Tin Man back. was he had options. No, no, no! Like, we, hey, hey, hey! We get real serious here. What did poet say that time? You remember? We get real serious here, bruv. Carry on, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> yeah? Don't do that. Don't drag me down. Carry That's on, bruv. Bad moment. Yeah? Do we want to get personal? I'll get personal. <laughs> I'll get personal out here, bruv. Um, all right, you know what? Forget about it. Just bury me, man. Just don't cremate me. Ooh. You said it, I agree. That's it. That's it. You said I got it. You know what they say, boys? Cremate me at Upton Park. Just cremate, cremate me and bury it. Um, spread it. Dust it. Man, dad is so in. Quickly, Marks, are you going to... Mark, Mark, are you going to give him the injection or are you going to send Rashford to a physio? I don't inject my players, He's man. He's sending to physio seven nah, nah, weeks. No, 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 that's, a, that's <laughs> fixed. You shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do what? Send him to a physio. Why? How long is it out? Yeah, five, four, four to five weeks now. Calf strain. I don't inject my players. It'll be all right. No, I don't inject What them. time of the season is it? If it's May? It's November. Boys, it's a good, good timing, Adam. Good, thanks for coming. Good timing. Perfect timing. Because... I don't know if you've been. You clocking. know it's not perfect. Perfect for you, bro. Perfect. I'll fight you any time of the day. Fight, fight. Yeah. This is a fight. <laughs> <laughs> is he afraid you got fighting hands? Not really. 
I'm not going against you. He's, he's Arsenal. He can't have much of a fight on his hands. Oh, we, we can. Don't two, worry. We can. Two goal leads in a week. It happens. It's, 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 actually, it's, actually, it's actually never it been does done. It happen. It happens. First day, it happens. Man. No, it's actually never been done consecutively by our league leaders. Oh, is that factual? Yeah. I don't think it's been done in the Premier Tour. <laughs> is it? Yeah, so it doesn't happen. Records are made to be broken. But it happened. I got one. Cool, but someone else is going to break it one day. Arsenal have only dropped four points since August, and those four points have come in the last two weeks. August? That's definitely no. not true. No. Not. Man, my points. dad's no. a. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, I told I said, you know what, dad? I'm using that one today. <laughs> Mug! Leave this in, dad. August is the start of the league. <laughs> it was between <laughs> August three and. Losses. No, we, we dropped four points between August, and I think it was November, December, and then. This time, yeah, right, since, four points yeah, since so losing to City. Since losing to City. I sound like that. Yeah. So he was right. No, he wasn't right. No, he wasn't right. He said half. August. He said August, mate. Did Trust me, he was well right. wrong. Quarter. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Man United fans don't care if Man City win the league. They've proved that for years now. When Liverpool were going for the title three years in a row, four years in a row, Man United fans proved they don't really nah, care. No, we kind of care this year, this year. This year, he's got a show with a Man City fan. This year I can tell because downstairs he says, I think Arsenal are going to beat Man City. And this is a man that would never give Arsenal an inch in this scenario. No, but that doesn't mean I, like, I equally, I, I kind of don't want Arsenal to do it because of people like Miles and Poet. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not bad though. You're not, you're a, you're a very nice guy, but you're also an Arsenal fan. And that's part of your personality, isn't it? Mm. It is, boy. And yes, Arsenal today, fans are, I can't do it. I don't, like, I see Boovy once a week. Don't really have to deal with him. Block his number, it's fine. So I don't have to deal with City fans. I'm not from Manchester, obviously, as well. And I grew up in the 90s. I went to school in the 90s when I wouldn't even admit Henri was good. Do you know what I mean? Serious? You were on that stuff? I, would, I, was, I, was, I was saying Rude was better than him all the time. But you're brown. You know I mean? Rude was mad, on? Yeah, I know. Was but I was out there just, I hated Arsenal, you know what so I mean? So how'd you be in racist as well? <laughs> this is mad. Rude Van Nistelrooy is better than Henri. This is... Terrible. That's not the worst argument. Obviously, I'm an Henri fan and he's not, but on, on we are not doing, we are not litigating Henri versus Van Nistelrooy. Steve, today. Steve, it's finished. Steve, it's done. It's a passing nah, it's comment. It's a passing it's comment. It's a, it's, it's a discussion. Comment. It's a conversation. But let's do this. Let's let, let me just let me just. All right, all right, all right, Adam. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna play the fence now. I get it. You're, you're you're big media now. I get it. You're on TV and that. Yeah, Lippy, you said in the group. <laughs> laughing when Arsenal lose stinks. <laughs> Arsenal you laughing when Arsenal rattled, don't win stinks. Bro. I agree. How, how, that's, how, the worst that that's the worst message I've seen in the group, you know. Because it's as simple as this. You know why, what you men are doing stinks? United fans, bro. Car. I understand that the player one, innit? Everyone's going to be biased with players. But, brother, wanting your, your pagans to win the league over us, are you all right, bro? No. You're did, their did pagans. Did you see when bro. Tottenham was going to win the league? Bro, I wanted anyone, bro. Could win the league, anyone, G. I don't care, bro. But when Man United are top and it's them, you're gonna want no, anyone. No, brother. If but it was them. you lot and Tottenham, you think I'm not a United fan for life that day? I don't know. I don't know. It depends uh, when you uh, grow up. Why, why it depends when you grow up. You lot and Chelsea. Us and Chelsea. No, no, no. Us and Chelsea. Oh, that um, Man United. Nah, nah. Wait, no. You're, you're no. high. That's a lie. <laughs> no, nah, you're lying. You are no, lying. No, no, you're no, lying. Is, is lying. Uh, Tottenham is the only one that makes sense. No, City's not. That's not man's people, them. That's you, man's ops. You, man. It's calm. Yeah, but I only don't. Bro. I don't want City to do the treble, and I don't want them to do three in a row. So I for that I reason, I'm leaning towards. You see, because Arsenal. they, we see, you see, because they came with the money and and the way they done it, yeah, and. Listen, just to, like the dominance, like, it's kind of easy. I can accept that. I don't want them to win the Champions League. That's the worst thing for me. Liverpool, Liverpool win Champions League all the time, yeah, and they've done it all the time, yeah. So I can hug that. If they won it again, it wouldn't bother me. I don't want, Liverpool, I don't want Liverpool to win the league ever again, ever, ever, ever once again. So I'm saying that's like City, City, City do this. I don't ever want them to win the league ever. But you haven't but grown up with them as rivals like that. When they were in Main Road and you was in school, it wasn't City that. win the Champions League worse than them winning the. the the prem for me. I don't think you lot really care. You know what I'm saying? I can understand the Arsenal thing. 90s, baby. I can understand the Arsenal thing why you don't like Arsenal, but and the millennials will not like Man City, but like. Nah, the Champions League thing, I get it because Man United fans have been. Does anyone think Man City are winning tower. the Champions League? I, I think they're winning I, the Champions League. No, no, they're not beating Real They're not beating Madrid, man. But did you see Real Madrid against Chelsea? Mad. They were bad. They, I think, I, this got to be their year. I, see that, I say that every year, and it's a disgrace if they don't win it. 
Real Madrid versus City, that's the final. If you win that, you win the t- you win the. Tournament. You know what it is watching them against. I know what you mean as a a whole. The other day against Chelsea, they weren't great. But they weren't great. Little at bits all. of individual bits that I saw, Vinicius Junior, oh, uh, Benny, like Modric, like there's these little individual bits when it was like, yeah, That's it was great, like, but whoa. against Man City, you can't just. Yeah, but Miles, you're not gonna brilliant. play like that against Real um, against Man City. Like Chelsea were terrible, bro. Modric might not terrible. play another league game the whole season and just play Champions League. But that's not necessarily a good thing. What I mean by that, obviously he'll play some minutes in the league. He's going to be wrapped in cotton wool. But that might not necessarily a good thing because that's what Man City did going into the Chelsea game in Champions League It's what League they've final. been doing kind of for every year for the last couple but of I years. I don't think doing that to Modric is going to make him lose like quality in his day. I think at that age, I think he knows how um, to look I after mean, it, 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 Man City had quality when they wrapped up their players and they went to Chelsea. And I also beat think them. that pressure of if, if, if City get to the final and they've got the pressure of, oh my God, we could possibly do the treble. That could come come into it as well, but you know what the, the what Pep was doing that was weird this year. It, he, he figured it out, man. Quick. No, no, not quick. Not quick. Quick, quick at the business end. Cancelo, Cancelo quick. was the best right back and left back in the league according to everyone in this stupid country eight months ago. Now he's at Bayern Munich and they don't play fullbacks. What Pep figured out this year was not quick. But he figured it out. Okay, fair enough. But he's figured it out quickly at a time where he needed to figure out when it's the business end of the season. He's figured it out. Uh, bad luck for Arsenal because now they're running us down. But he's figured it out, and I think that he's gonna. They're gonna tear apart Real Madrid. Twenty. They've done twenty wins on the. Sp- they've done. They've had a section where they've done twenty wins on the spin. Now, I'm talking the, about the Champions past, League, bro. Past two seasons, isn't it? Yeah, they've done mad some things. No, past I'm, two just, I'm asking. That's, that's is that fact. I'm, I'm not making Say that up. Like, what's the question? Like the past two previous seasons, they went where they've done twenty wins on the spin, in it. Like all comps or whatever, in it. If they've you know that. that to be a fact, then it's a fact. I've, I don't know that to be a fact. Now they have gone on long, long. I think. Winning I think runs. they have. So then they're, they're nine now. They're halfway through. Like they're capable of going twenty again. They're, they're ready to go again. They're ready to go now. But there is something about this city team where you think. Ooh. That's why I feel Arsenal could go there and do something. But Adam, why, why did you do that? Why did I do what? Why did you allow us to transition away from Arsenal? What's going on with Thomas Party, boys? That was a handball. Not, not, not that thing that he's doing. <laughs> the other thing that he's doing. Don't come in. That was like an interrogation right there. Because he had a shocker, and actually, you know what? When I, when he when he's not good. He's very not good. Yeah, because yeah, because in the first half he was thinking it up, and well. then and then half time happened, and he came out, and I thought, okay, my man's obviously chatted to him. He's gonna fix up, and he, I think he just skied the ball like first minute. Of the Declan second Rice half. was on him I from the first about, minute. I told man about Rice though. Steve, oh, come on. Do you think there's anything to be said about the, like uh, uh, this pressure getting to him? Is these man doing bottle job stuff? Are they oh, they are. Saka definitely the pressure got Saka. No, seriously, hundred percent is pressure, bro. Like, it? So what? Did the wheels fall off? Like what? Are you gonna get it together? You, you back? How do I know the walls are going to fall off? Only time will tell. Tico, when's this come out? Wednesday? We're lucky we got Southampton next. That's what I think. We got Southampton on, at home. We're lucky with that. That might, might give us a little There'll bit of confidence. There'll be shaky moments in that match, bro. Of course there will. Now, of course there will. Now, our next couple matches. Lippy, the longer that game, say that's nil-nil for like 70 minutes gone. Nil-nil. That's when we're all panicking. I don't think so. State, I don't think so. I don't think so. Southampton ain't so. rubbish, you know? I don't think so. I just think... They're not rubbish, bro. Well, if it's nil-nil, 80th minute, set piece. Ward Prowse, edge the, of the box. I'm, do you know what I'm saying? Yo. Mugs, yo. Mugs, Mugs. These guys, these guys are nervous at 2-0 up. You think they, what do you think they're doing at 0-0? That's, the, that's <laughs> why I feel like they You know, before I expected City to win the league. But now, when you've been in that position two weeks in a row, I feel like you bottled it. Yeah, but Adam... That's when I start thinking the pressure's cracked you, man. The West Ham game was, was a bottle job. The, 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 the Liverpool game... Good, depends man. on how you want to look at it. You know when you're cool. watching the it's Liverpool different. game? The, Liverpool, okay, what's the crowd was dead... Liverpool were dead. Yeah, but we know Liverpool could turn it like Use that. Like, nah, you like Pope. Adam, though. Liverpool had 21 shots on goal, you know. Six clear-cut opportunities. They probably deserve to beat us, bro. I nah, can handle they, that Yeah, two in two. the second half. But in the first half, just before half-time, yeah. you like gave them all the momentum, bro. No, but going to Upton Park, that was a difficult that was a difficult fixture. I didn't think he was just going to take the three points Upton like Park hasn't existed for a little while. So, so, same thing, man. I don't know what it's, what it's called. Because it's the West Ham Stadium. London, 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 right. Stadium. Oh, London Stadium. Stadium. Olympic Stadium. Going to Stratty. Going to Stratford. That don't sound right. David Moyes' David Moyes's West Ham, fresh off of a Europa Conference League game, is not a difficult fixture. Sorry, boys. Sorry, boys. That, that is a hard fixture, man. It's not. It's not. It's not. They drew 1-1 one, one with, one, one with Ghent on Thursday. The crowd were on their case when it was 2-0. Lippy, well, it was 2-0. Know. We had the opportunity to make it 3-1. Nah, like, nah, it stinks, bro. No, it's not. It's not. We gave them a goal. We, got, we, brought, we brought them back into the game. We got complacent and we, gave, we brought them back yeah, into the game. The that never happened. Around, yeah. Arsenal wins easily. I know, I mean, I know men do this a lot. 
in these situations, yeah. But if it was the other way around, they went two 0 up, we came back two two. Man will be saying, "Ah, oh, there's there's signs of character there." So it's 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 yeah, not it just it's the, no, it's the opposite that, of that. No, no, nah, I hear you. But I, I'm saying that's that's what I'm saying. That like, it's not just like same the, the same thing. But well, you held on to a two two again because like they had chances. To be fair, yeah, the ball was really in our half. Like and towards the back end of the game, and West Ham wasn't even playing good ball. They wasn't. They were physical though. Yes. They were, we got balls. Also, if that was a few months ago, Arsenal win that game. Of course, still. Yeah. on the pitch to diagnose like, it on the pitch. Then two, two. Miles, uh, poet, Flippy, diagnose it on the pitch. What happened? Who, yeah. who, who, who shouldn't have played? What shouldn't have happened? I think s- s- the subs. The subs again. are poor. Like Saka shouldn't have stayed that long on the field. To be Saka fair. shouldn't have start. Yeah. But, Saka, but hold on, you, 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 you were two 0 up. How can subs really be the thing? No, in terms it's of squad but, coming into it to two, two, against I'm, a team that we know have trouble scoring. Squad will definitely come into it because they've they got players on the bench that's going to influence games like that. Is there really players that's going to influence games like that? I'm not saying that they can't do a little bit, but, but it's we've not won like, games in the last minute, previous times by like bringing people off the bench and Arteta's game management within it. You were two nil up time, though. Yeah, but you've got to two two Tigo. Yeah, so 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 what? So but something happened on the pitch. Not something happened on the bench. Something happened on the pitch. What happened on the pitch? So when it was 2-2, yeah, I just think you could have made better subs. And could have been that situation before. Why did it get to 2-2? It got to 2-2 because the first one, come on, man. That's not that's a handball for one from Declan Rice. It's poor from Party, but I've seen Party do that type of things before and get away with it. This time, Declan Rice just does this. It's a handball. Before you know it, they get a pen. Cool. The second goal is a howler. The second goal is Saka, you miss a penalty. All of a sudden, the stadium goes mad. And then a bloody terrible pass all over the top. And But it's... Shocking, bruv. The whole thing's shocking for me. I don't what know. Arsenal's doing right now and what we wasn't doing at the beginning of the season, we're playing to the occasion. And we, we should stop doing that. We need to stop doing that before. Well, but you've got you've got you've got you've got loads of FA Cup finals coming now. Yeah, the occasion. Oh, it's all occasion. You can't hide the occasion. You can't, yeah, you can't hide it because before we was we was ice cold. We wasn't playing the occasion, we was playing our football and we was playing our way, and that's when we was killing off teams. Now it we're showing cracks that okay, we've been here before last year going to the top four running. We're showing that emotion against. We need to stop showing except, emotion except, in these games. Except, except, except last year's different because you were you weren't two 0 up in those games. You were just not getting two 0 up. Now you're two 0 up. What happened on the pitch at two 0 Not narrative. Not storyline. Not I think or here's some emotional thing. Heads what gone, happened? No, we bottled it. We bottled it. We bottled it. Who bottled it? Did eleven players bottle it? I, I doubt think, it. I think, I doubt Odegaard, I think, players I think Odegaard did. No, Odegaard was man of the match apparently yesterday. So I don't know I about think that. Odegaard's had two bad games. No well. Goal no, and well. assist. Come on, let's have it right. Yeah. Not let's have three it right. assists. It's not. The, it's not the first choice. It's not the first choice back line. The last game I watched you play before that, if your goalkeeper went on steroids, I don't know how many you would have conceded. Two you know nil to say? up. Don't so, don't, don't talk like, to me about don't talk to me about Zinchenko when you're yeah. two nil up. Because no, 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 he's gonna concede the goal. I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm not saying it's an excuse, but if you've got your original back line and you know the system of what you're playing, it's a it's a but different Fierney was your guy before. No, no, no brother. No, Zinchenko is very influential. No, no, he's very no, influential. He's, Fierney he's was gonna, your guy. So he, guy. he should be, so what I wanted to say is you see squad like bringing in Tierney holding. I think if a city brings in players or over the years, the teams that have been going, they've brought in players at this time, is Arsenal squad just not? No, I would say this to that, because then what you're saying, right? Ben White would be playing centre back if um, my man was fit, right back. Yes. Tommy Asu was fit. So so Ben Holden would actually be further down the bench. So that is three injuries at the same time in your defence, it hurts. Only two teams have got four centre backs on first team wages, Man City and Man United. They're the only teams that can afford to pay Arsenal do not have four centre backs on first team wages. One of them's a right back, one of them's Rob Holding. So I, I forgive them for the the, the fact that it is Holden shaky. Was bad, by the way. Holding was bad. Holding is bad, man. But but you were two nil up. And you were two nil up and you were carving them to pieces. pieces. There's no excuse. Well, you kinda want some experienced players on the field in the You didn't have experienced players on the field. In terms of that play enough first team games, that like holding not play enough first team games. And yeah, Kieran Tini was, was moaning and Granite's, to Granite's first team. Yeah, but the Thomas problem Party's was the back there. though and Thomas Party. Like defensively we were poor. What in the second half, I think it was like 50 minutes, 50 minutes think, playing. Like, hey, do you, think, do you think you're lacking characters? The manager's got to, the manager got to nip that in the bud for starters. Last week, you you drop a two goal lead. This week, you get a two goal lead against West Ham. Surely you got to change. You can't just keep going for goals and that. But we weren't. We weren't though, Adam. We weren't even going for the third. That was a problem. That's that's I'm why it's Adam, wrong. It was pathetic, that, bro. Like he's taking off Gabby. He always takes off Gabby Jesus. Yeah, why, bro? And he's he's never he just come back never, from injury. Nah, though, but, no, but weren't you weren't you weren't you better with weren't you better with Trossard up front though? Say Gabby again. Jesus. Weren't you better with Trossard up front? Weren't you more effective, more efficient, and weren't you more long lasting in the know. way you I attack? Think we've, I think we've been good with Gabby up front though. For forty five for thirty minutes twice. 
Arsenal have been good with Gabriel Jesus up front since his return for 30 but minutes do, twice. But I don't think the reason we've dropped off, but the, but the reasons we've dropped off in them performances ain't because of him, I'm, I don't I, think. I'm lippy. All I'm asking is why? You, you're telling me why not, now why? I just think at the back it was poor. Like I said, Holding was getting bullied by Antonio. No, very bullied. And we couldn't play out at the back. There's a level of composure when Suga had is there. User had, a, user had a big moment. When, when was the penalty? 2-1, yeah? Yeah, it was a 2-1. So I'm watching that. I'm seeing Saka step up. I'm saying, this is your star boy. He's been I knew he was gonna all miss. season. Forget miss. He didn't hit, he didn't hit the target there. That's... Uh, not even to pile on you, but that's like, not to say unforgivable, that's a lot, but that's bad, bro. That is a Gerard moment. Like, that's ridiculous, bro. That game's wrapped up if he scores. He didn't, hit the, he didn't even make the keeper work. That's what I'm trying to say to you. If, you. if you miss that penalty and you've got bigger characters on the field, all of a sudden, who knows? But you miss that penalty and then you've got bloody... But you got to remember, this is a team that ain't really done nothing. Yeah. So they haven't got that, that winning yeah. mentality. They yeah. haven't got that yeah. winning mentality. What do you mean we show times this season where we have got that mentality? Nah, it's a league on, on a whole long one. You've never fought for a real trophy with this team. I know Arteta has won an FA Cup. But with this team, you've never, you've never fought for a real trophy before. I'm going to dig out. I'm gonna, hey, Zeus, at that particular moment, he, he pissed me off. This is a bad take. It's incoming. Five, four, three, two. I know what it is. No, no, it's cool. It's, you can say what you want. When I saw Jesus pick up the ball. And he had the ball. He had the ball. He did. And he said, I'm going to take this penny. And Saka was at the back with everyone else waiting to see if he's going to score or not. He said, let me take it. And when he did that and gave him the ball, he didn't. He didn't. They do that for a reason though. They do, everyone does that. Yeah. Everyone kind of does that. And they pretend that someone else is going to take listen, it. Listen, I don't care what Arsenal do. You're, if, listen, listen. Listen. This is where you let scored, yourself down, if man. If you scored, if you scored, if you scored on the pitch, you're one of the most confident pe people on the pitch at the moment of time because you scored. You're a goal scorer. Uh, just about. <laughs> one yard goal. No, no, no. But he scored already. He's already scored. So he picks up the ball. He's at a penalty spot, and he gives it to Saka. So in my head, I'm thinking Saka's gonna miss. This is all storylines, you know. <laughs> no, uh, no. That's what I. That's what I felt. I know. That's how you. The whole thing is how you feel. I'm asking what happened. All I'm getting. Yeah, Saka's feelings. not a donut, you know. Huh? No, it's not about being a donut. I'm the most confident man on the pitch right now. I've scored. I've got well, the Saka's ball. Saka's probably the most confident man in your team. I, I've got the ball. Exactly. I'm a striker. I just. I, I'm gonna take this penalty. This is he why. This why. This why no one retweeted you. Oh, Why? Did he say that? Yeah. No, I don't care. You can trust Saka to take a. You can't blame that. Like, man can trust Saka to score. That. That, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. You've got to trust sense. your best player for the last three years. Fair enough. In that that holding took it or something. I'm yeah, exactly. Holding. Yeah. He's missed one penalty for Arsenal. Like, you're just going to say, yeah, you should probably score. No, no, no. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not mad. No, I'm not mad at Saka that he missed. I'm mad at the fact that he took it off Jesus and he's the confident person on the pitch saying, I want to take this. But for Saka to take it, any confident? They've just told you that that's what they do, bro. But Saka takes takes our penalties bro. No, but he picked up the ball said, I want to take this. Yeah, but that's what Arsenal do. They do a thing where they make the goalkeeper think he's gonna... He should have pulled rank and said, no, I'm taking this. You think Gabriel Jesus got rank over Saka? He's a big man. You talk about, I've won the league so many times. Sit down, I don't care if you're a star boy. But you know, but you need them characters. You need, you need, you need Saka you, had We're the going character for the to say that's like my that, penalty. I've seen Frank, <laughs> I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen Frank Lampard, I've seen Frank, I've seen Frank Lampard tell Drogba, a big man, no, I don't care about your golden boot. That's what Saka did. That's what Saka did. You think Jesus got more weight in that club than Saka? Well, Saka's the man, bro. I don't care if you're the man. We've seen Saka take penalties at Chelsea where they're booed, they're saying to him, you missed the... You, you let your country down. No. And he still Saka scores taking like, a man. penalty makes no sense. Now, no. nah, fair enough, you're vexed. No, fair enough, you don't rate it. But saying it makes no it sense makes, is So mad. what if he's the man? So what if he's the man? <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> but he's helped Saka as much as he possibly could. By what? By, why is by protecting him when, when players... Because you see all the players around Jesus going, oh, you're probably going to miss this. And there was a couple players in his face. He's taken all that pressure and Saka's true, chilling. You know, and then yeah, yeah. giving the ball to Saka, who's got a clean... Run. I hear you. He just missed. If he scores, you're not saying anything. No, no, no. This is the most, this over analyzing penalties stinks. Also, you got to think, why did your defense crumble immediately after? Like one minute later, you crumbled. That's not Saka's fault. No, it's got nothing to do with Saka's fault, us conceding the other side. That, that has nothing to do with Saka. His head was, his head was gone though. Lippy, I'm going to try again. What happened on the pitch? <laughs> but I don't I, I can't say like an anything I say, you're not going to have it. Bro. No, but I will, I will, if it's on the pitch, I'll completely have it. No, I'm, it's, obviously it's on the pitch, but my thing is, We've come to a point in the season, yeah? If man look at like our last, who's, what's our last five games? Who cares? What do you mean who cares, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, user had that, there's a narrative if party don't play, user will lose. Who says that? 
to just see people right, say let's, let's, don't let's, play, let's do lose. your last few league games let's do let's do your last party don't play you are dead and yesterday he was not let's do your last few league games let's go before Liverpool yeah you beat Leeds 4-1 you beat Palace 4-1 you beat Fulham 3-0 and you beat Bournemouth three two, and you beat Everton four nil. Bournemouth was Bournemouth was shaky. Bournemouth was shaky, and we convinced ourselves. What was we saying? Ah, oh, it's the stuff of champions. It is. We won. Well, we should have looked Story at lines. it. Storylines, yeah. No, but we should have looked at it in no, reality. Lippy, Lippy, that was Lippy, you're team. saying it like Man City don't do this. Obviously, they're much better. But no, but I'm saying to you, other teams do exactly yeah, what we've done for us at, to say brother, that. I don't care. But it's not about what other teams are doing. We're us, bro. We're not anyone else. Well, we're not any brother. City. You don't know what to imitate the best. If we're going to the last minute, brother, of the story. Them, we're not we're not the same as these man. Like I'm not even want to rub us out. They didn't do this. I swear, did you just say no one's ever done it? What? Gone two 0 up twice and yeah, and yeah, get, yeah, yeah. brother. Like we're not the same, bro. So it's like even when even when we're at the top of the league, we still do Arsenal, shit, bro. You get me? Of course. So it's like it's, it's a we young come team. to the point of the season where it's finally happening, bro. Like it's, it's just, I know it sounds mad. I think man are being reactive, you know. Yeah, man very, being reactive. very reactive. Very yeah. reactive, like come on, bro. All man. I can do is react to what's happening. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, but it's no, but brother, if if we go on to win the league, it don't mean that I was wrong about what's happening now, bro. No, if you drop, if you drop four, if you drop four points from winning positions in a week, yes, you yes, can react. Yeah, something booky. Even if it was for the fortnight, something Arsenal became Arsenal again. For two no, weeks. but I think that's part of the process, though. That could be yeah, part but, of the process, man. But what I'm saying is, who we're up against don't have their moments, bro. Yeah, they've had little. But they have though. Yeah, no, bro, not two nil up. Yes, you. If you. If you're talking, everyone drops points. Everyone does that. But like my man just said, no one has ever. <laughs> bro, you you gotta be honest. Like if we if we wanna be the top dogs, winning the hardest league in the world, you have to dissect every single thing. If we're going to compare ourselves to the other champions. Do you think, uh, boys, do you think, so a part of the, sorry, Lippy, a part of this reacting thing, um, I think that's the part of what messed, Arsenal have been messed up for a long, long time, but their recent bad thing is when the Arsenal fan team, I'm going to correlate it to that a little bit, just the whole thing with the internet and players seeing things, seems like they've got through it a bit, right? But the reason why Arsenal, I think, have been really good because your fans have been less reactive to the bad times. No, because we're you know finally I mean? like fighting back, like because before it'll be like fans are laughing at us, and we're like vexed at the players because we're getting the the stick. Oh, that's the that was these guys last year. That was these guys last year. <laughs> I'm not messed up. I'm losing, and I'm looking in my bridging's face like, brother, am I collapsing that? Don't chat to me. You get me? So, but it's like now, like everyone's laughing at us for dropping points. We're sticking up for the boys. Yes, like, what do you mean? Yes, we, yes. Did, we, we didn't yeah, lose. But, but We're still top of the but league. We, but, we, but, you, but you watch the matches and something happened on the pitch. And I get it. I'm not no, saying, I'm not saying I'm not blame saying, someone. No, 100%. I'm just saying, if it was any other team, you'd be like, oh, you know, if if they started Alvarez instead of Haaland. Or, oh, if they, if they, like, what, 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 what is it? But this Some, team, is that a championship winning team? This team's clearly over overachieving, though. But but but, oh, but but again, that's not on the pitch. You're just saying stuff. The storylines. I get it. But what happened on the this pitch? This is a flaky team. They're a, they're an emotional team. So whenever it's good, it's really good. And whenever it's bad, it's really bad. Who? In Who? Because you can't tell me there's 26 no, players party, that are all too emotional. emotional. There you go. Part is emotional. Yeah. yeah part. I, I think in. I think. I think in situ. You saw it before. Yeah, in his first, not maybe his first season, because that's when he's kind of trying to fit in. But his second season, you'll see when he gets into situations where he's like, I'm a baller. Like, no matter what, no matter what I've been told, I'm cold. So I'm going to keep doing the press resistant thing and, re and it, it, it falls apart. I don't know if that is off other players. Re it's, brother. But you know, wait, I think they're signing players. So um, Arteta is signing players with a specific type of emotion, energy, reacts to certain things. Like what you say, when he's got them going for it, uh, 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 above achieving, but when overachieving, sorry, but when the times ain't great and they sort of get within themselves, then it's peak. Yeah, but you tried to the sign last two weeks they've got within. You tried to sign up with Jorginho though. I yeah. said maybe. I don't but know. I'm if not it's, sure because I, 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 th I think that Ben White's got a great temperament. I think Gabriel's got a pretty good temperament. I think Saliba's got a good temperament. Ooh, Gabriel. Gabriel, I don't know. I don't know about Gabriel. Good temperament. He has. He has every game. He'll have ten minutes where it's a shambles. Gabriel's. Gabriel's. His temperament's worse than parties. He's very rash. He goes to ground so for like. Nah, I don't man. think he gets rattled. I don't think he gets round. I, I think. Bro, I he think gave that penalty city. away. City. He gave you remember that the city match for 15 minutes. It w and he, that is it was normal. It's when it's happening. I'm almost not angry. It's just like, brother, this is him. 
<laughs> like this is what this is this part is, of his. He has it in him. He has it in him. Saliba's kind of calmed him down a bit. Hundred percent. Obviously, Xhaka will have his moments. Xhaka's very emotional. Just, bro, he's, he's too emotional. emotional. Over emotional. He, he has, but at the same time, he's because what match was it? Where we was winning, he turned to fight a man, bro. No, when yeah, against Liverpool. 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 See Liverpool. There, that's what changed like, the whole like that. You don't do that, bro. Do you remember Chelsea early on in the season where Kovacic has pushed him? Kovacic is Serbian. He's Albanian. Kovacic has pushed him. To, he just calmed the whole thing down, pulled away, walked away. There's been times this season where I think he's going to go mad and he hasn't. The Liverpool team, come on, bro. That's I know, but I hear what you're saying. But you see now, every game now is a mad thing. Every game now, every mistake, the they're going to be thinking of now. after the match, the dressing room, half time. You understand? And players like Xhaka are going to be affected, bro. You're seeing it. And we need guys like him. I saw, so I see Kieran Gibbs say a thing in the paper, yeah? And... No, it, it probably weren't the paper. I mean, I read the paper. But... <laughs> I saw on Twitter, yeah, on Twitter, Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I saw your Twitter. At first, when I read it, I thought, that's a bit mad. But, like, maybe not literally, but I hear it. And he said, if so, if anyone gets sent off or does a disciplinary thing for Arsenal right now, Arteta should say to them, you're never going to play for man again, bro. That's a bit mad, but It's yeah, a yeah. bit mad, but at the same time, it's like, if man want a standard, we've got to this point, yeah? This club, as as this whole time when we've been... Yeah? Man's been pretending that this season has been the next season, bro, for 15 years. So for us to finally get here, a man for be, to be moving like a you need to cut, bro. It's like, because you're almost not being a part of this thing, what we've been but through, certain bro. players are not ready for this. No, so certain guys are not, like, Holding's not ready for this. Listen, listen, you see, if we don't win the league, yeah, and it's not because of disciplinary stuff, and it's, like... Dropping points at West Ham and that, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad, but it's not like disgusting. Oh, oh my gosh, leave my club. We we got players for that fixture of result. To, it makes sense why that happened. Anfield away definitely makes sense. 2-2. Two, two. No. You understand? So I, I hear... 2-2 um, two, two on paper for, in theory, no, yeah. No, I hear that. But I'm it's not taking well, we away saw from the that. game. I'm not taking away from that. I'm not. But at the same time... And I don't think it's fair to blame a back and, and a bench player when you're And also the way the game will, will determine how those players feel. It's like what you said when you go, oh, if we, if we came back from 2-0, we're saying, diff yeah, but emotionally, those players feel different as well. And right now, they're going to feel rough. I think, I think the next game, I don't, I don't want to see um, Saka start next game. <laughs> What's going on, my brother? <laughs> Yo, Kazi, <laughs> what one? He don't want him taking penalties. We don't want him starting. <laughs> He's the man that left the comments after nah, the let England him land, game. Let him land, let him land, let him land. <laughs> Let him land. Let I him love Bakaya Saka. Cool, cool, cool. I love Bakaya Saka. Do you? Yeah. He's one of our main players. He's the reason why we're here. Why do you want him main... dropped? I think, he's, I think he's tired now. I think he really needs... I think... Play one game a week, bro. <laughs> how's, he, how's he played for the past three games, though? No, if I'm being honest. How's he put... No, one sec. Lippy, how's he, play, how's he played for the last three games? But that's just him. What do you mean that's not just... Because you, just man, him. hype these oh, man so much bro. that you think they're going to deliver a Premier League title. It's not happening. But listen, listen. What? Listen, it's not happening. It's happening, no, bro. No, I know you're not gonna win. I think he should be rested. We got players like Trossard on the bench. He's prem proven. If you're never got, if you're never gonna have a chance. Yeah, didn't they rest him the other day? Yeah. Bro, he. So what? You need to get your tired, facts bro. right, man. Oh, Jesus so Christ! Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should be dropped, bro. Yes, what was did he do yesterday? I was literally just about to go and see that he got rested against Leeds. Yeah. Who else did he get rested against? Leeds. He got rested against Leeds. Did Two he games ago. Did he come on against Leeds? That's enough, yeah. bro. We only playing one match a week, bro. It's not, it's not that deep. The guy's tired. The man's 21. No. 20. Hold your hand up, bro. He got rested a game 20. ago. My bad, you know. One, one game. Two one games. game. He yeah. might two games. He's 20 years he old. Half a game, half a, half a, it was Leeds. He came for half time. Don't you rest the older players rather than the younger guys? They got energy. Yeah, bro. He doesn't. Martinelli looks like he's got energy. Come Martinelli on, looks, I'm saying he, he could get rested a game. It's, we've got players that trust. Well, I'm glad. Play. I'm glad we hung around long enough. I'm glad we hung around long enough for a bad take. But what? Well, so we could drop Saka. That's a bad take. You didn't say rested though. You said drop. He said it twice. <laughs> same thing. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing, bro. Okay, he should be rested and rotated for for a player. Does, does sound better, Adam McCullough? <laughs> what if though? Yeah. <laughs> yes, mileage. What if though? Yeah, like the with the the, the last penalty miss situation he had in his career. Yeah. What if he bounces back from this? Like he did from that. Like, you understand? Like, Southampton we have a, hat trick. We have an example of, of Saka saying no. He's he's your guy. He's the guy. Yeah, Saka's the guy for, for real. I just think maybe it took this two weeks for 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 him. You understand? <laughs> you haven't so like a preacher yeah, enough, eh? Lippy, I would rather... Rise him, up and how yeah. about Lippy? I would rather him miss this penalty now. Then if we go to Etienne and we get a penalty. 
I'd rather him just get he it out of your way now. That, he ain't taking a penalty. He, can, he can definitely miss two as well, by the way. That's not no, he, won't, he, won't, he 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 won't. You're my Arsenal, Arsenal specialist guy. Arsenal this season. I'm, I'm, I'm. Now they're emotional guys, bro. This is, yeah. Wait, but I think there's, there's been there's been two times I can remember Arsenal this year. People sort of clown them, and they've always come back from it. Which ones are they? I know exactly what they are. What ones were they? There's been twice. Everton. Like, Everton 1 0. Yeah, because I clowned them. I put up on my TikTok. Yeah, and then there's another time as well. (laughs) There's been two times. Where's Taz? Hey, 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 Lips. You see how I thought about it? I just didn't speak, yeah? And then I got it. United, yeah? Okay. Then they've come back after that, didn't they? I mean, they're top of the league. They definitely come back every time. I don't think people necessarily laughed at us for joining that side. They didn't need to come back. They were 2 0 up. That's the difference. Everton, they laughed at us. And they said, how are they going to bounce back? And he went, did five or six in a row. Just back to the, just back to the football point. I, feel, I remember the last two games, you've obviously been under siege, yeah? Mm. No, West Ham wasn't under siege. A little bit. We had you. We had you. Didn't they hit the bar? Didn't they hit the bar? Moments, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. For moments, we get don't crashed. Worry. For moments, we get crashed. Yeah, that's bro. all I'm trying to say. Not under, under siege. Oh, that's what you're saying. Like, carry on. I'm just, I'm just getting you corrected. Come on. Not under siege. 16, 16 shots to Arsenal's 11. Oh, 16 shots. Is, that could be, where did they go? That was in the, How many saves? Listen, Liverpool was under siege. Forget, when forget. we lose and we have 16 shots and they have 11, the 16 shots all of a sudden matters. The problem is though, when you break for the counter, you lot make terrible decisions on your counter. I don't know why. I don't think they're terrible. That's because they don't have a, it's because they don't have a nine. The Martinelli pass, I hear that. That was a bad pass. Liverpool. But that, ain't, that wasn't a bad decision. That wasn't a bad, it was just bad execution. It's because they don't have a nine. It's because the goals that he scores early in, if you see, if Gabriel Jesus scores early in the game, take him out of the attacking front. we got, do you know how raw certain men we have are, bro? Like, Martinelli is a nutter, bro. Like, he plays football like a- um, A hundred miles an hour. Psychopath. <laughs> like, no, honestly, bro, he's like, he has but that's so the problem. much energy. Bro, but I've like, got, I've got, I've got three questions we need to get through before we wrap this episode, right? The first question is, are Man City going to beat Arsenal in the, pre- the Premier League final? Which is what Pep's called it. Yeah. Arsenal could get a result, you know. I Dude. wouldn't write them off. Go on, give me a result. It's from Brum, bro. <laughs> Brum man can <laughs> fight. Brum man can fight. They'll roll, they know. Uh, I think City win the league, man. Yeah, but who? Oh, but they can Arsenal beat Man? They can't fight no more. They can't fight no more. So what's the result of Man City versus Arsenal in the Premier League final? I think Arsenal win 2-1. Okay, here we go. 2-1. I don't Very know good. what it is about that. I don't know. I think City win the league, but I think Arsenal win that game. It's weird. Lippy, what's the result in that game? I think we draw against City. I think we do the scumbag. We finally do it. Everyone throwing themselves on the floor. and not. We need to, trust me, all that bro is happening. You know if they get beat, Who's it's going to be Haram, bro. Who's they? Arsenal. Right. If they get beat, yeah. heads are gonna go oh, early. Of course. It's oh, gonna no, be. No, it's, it's gonna be. <laughs> we got. If we, no, 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 no. But it's gonna be like no, five. No, no, it's no, gonna no, be like no, a Bayern. No, maybe no. that Bayern Munich man's getting era. In the face. <laughs> oh, we're losing five one. <laughs> oh, horrible. Jack will go jail for this. Jack will go jail for this. <laughs> He'll go jail for this. Hundred percent. He don't care, bro. Jordy, who's winning Man City? I'm Arsenal? gonna go for a score draw. Two all. Oh wow. Marks, who's winning the Manchester Arsenal Cup final? Um, three nil. To Man City or? To City, yeah. Miles, what's the score? 1-1. One, one. That's what I think, 1-1. One, one. I think we need to get out of there with a draw. You do? <laughs> Poet, what's the score in that game? 1-1, one, one. we'll take the lead and throw it away. If we win, I'd be surprised. Arsenal have to win if they want to win the league. Steve-O, what's the score in that game? 4-1, Arsenal. <laughs> I, I, just possible, feel, I just feel Arsenal are just going to get it all together. It's all going to come and this is going to be their moment. I think, I think Man City are going to win. I think probably going to win 2-0. I just think, I'm watching them in the last few weeks with this new system. It's just, I don't see anyone getting near them. They're too big. Physically, they're too big with the way they play. They're so central. They're too big. I think it's just, it's not going to happen. But who knows, man? Football, it's a strange game. That is 100% the case. But here's, 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 here might be a more... <gasps> McCullough, you know what that means though, isn't it? They're going to win the treble. Now we're going to beat them in the FA Cup. Is that what you've convinced yourself? Now nah, Brighton are going to beat them in the FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy well, but it's going to come through, bro. Trust me, trust me. No, but this is this might be a more important question. And this one, look, look Miles, leave me alone, yeah? I, bro, poet, I don't care poet, what you say. Poet, leave me alone, yeah? Sorry. Lippy, please leave me alone. What? Adam, Jordy, Marks, just you three. Next season, who's finishing higher, Arsenal or Man United? Oh, come on. No, let them, what do you mean? That's calm. That's calm. Why are you acting? That's calm. It's a good question. I think it's a good question. Arsenal peak now, and that's it. 
Ah. Lippy, who's finishing higher next year? Arsenal Man United. Brighton are finishing above United you next mad, season. Bro. Brighton are finishing above United next. We're going to challenge again. I've been again. watching old episodes. You say some we bad takes, cha- you know. Brother, we are going to challenge again. again. We are going to challenge again. Even if you, even if you again. win it this year, you're Bro, do you know what again. we're going to buy, bro? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's going to be cold, though. Yeah. He's, he's, I, said this, I said it quick. I said it quick. Guy, but whoever yeah, it's going to be, brother. it's going to be proper. Yeah. I think we'll go again, man. I think we'll go again. Nah, I think we'll come above United next season. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah. On all jokes aside, I, I think you're both going back to the Champions League. Main like, yeah, we're going to be a better recently. team next season, a much better team. I think we'll both be better next. Look season. at the impact Ten Hag's made in a short t- short time, bro. Use man, we're finishing eighth. And nah, but we're good. Like we are good. Yeah, but you didn't come from like, where we, we came from. Don't we do that. stayed the same. Bro, fin- financially, Ralph your Frank team said we needed open hearts. I don't care what he said. Yeah. You didn't come from where we came from. You didn't come from. Bragdick said we need to get rid of 11 man and bring in 20. <laughs> he was right though. We didn't, we didn't do it though. We brought I in think, like I eight. I think if we stay we the same, like yeah, we'll come minimum third. Top two? Third. Nah. No, because someone- You stay the same. So what, Newcastle, who we know they're going to If you improve. stay the same. Yeah, we stay like, quality wise. Arsenal finishing Europa League. I'm not talking like personnel wise. I'm just saying like how we're doing, innit? I'm, I'm saying minimum. I'm well, saying the minimum. opposite take is there. You finish in the Europa spots next season. Nah, who no said way. that? I said that. So who's so 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 who's top three next season? City, you lot, Liverpool, Chelsea. Newcastle, Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea, who? Chelsea with no Champions League football, no European football. Nah, they're gonna stick. With, the, with the money they're gonna spend, and they're gonna get a new. Todd Bowley as manager. <laughs> And we're not a good team. Ted Lasso is manager. We're not a good team, though. I'm saying you're a good team, but so like. So what? I back my manager. I back my players. Yeah, Liverpool yeah, yeah. have got no midfield now. None. Oh yeah, don't worry. You should you should care about Chelsea. Do you know I don't think you lot will finish above us here. I just think when it comes to like next season, we're more pre- well prepared now. Even like we've got the Martinelli's right. Like these guys are firing, bro. And they're we've got get closer better. to a Champions League squad than you. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know why? Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what makes me? Well, he's been to Champions League before. No, I'm saying your manager is not. He's been to the Champions League before. No, 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 I'm not saying he isn't. I'm talking about talking about the. Yeah, exactly. But look, I, the, only, the only reason I would say Man United have got a better chance is because they know the first team players that need replacing. I don't think you lot believe you've got a first team yeah. player that needs replacing. You just said stay the same. Everyone's the best, bro. They told us Kieran Tierney was the best, and then they replaced him like a year later. Who who's the first team player at Arsenal needs replacing this summer for you lot to be Xhaka. a Champions League team? Xhaka. One quickly. Scapegoat. That's an easy. Xhaka. Scapegoat. Xhaka get can get replaced. Your, it was one of your best midfielders, but you're gonna need to replace Party. <laughs> They're gonna need to Xhaka. replace. Um, <laughs> Xhaka. We get another. We get a right back. We we need a right back. Right back. Like a proper right back. You wait. Wait. You wait. You've got a problem at right back. We need a right back. No, need a right you back need no, a right back. back. You want, so Have you like been back, watching the same back. team this year that I've been watching? You need a right so back. No, Hording, I need Tommy Yasu out. Rob Holding goals. Who do you want your do you want it to be Saliba and White at the back? No, who we need what we need the most? No, we need a, a, a we need a centre midfielder and a nine. That's what we need. No, we need bro. a covering right back, bro. I watched Tommy Yasu. I don't want that no more. Cover covers other stuff though. First team. No, but we need a nine, team. bro. We need a we need because I'm not going to lie, yeah. the, 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 the form that Gabby Jesus, the way he's come back, I'm not going to lie. I think if he was fit, he probably would have scored more than I thought he would have scored. So you would have a right back? Yeah, we do need a right back. I don't think we ben need White's one. filling in, it We don't to need me. a right back. It, that's one of them things will just be like, if, if, man's, if I'm but playing football White's manager, he like, is he, if it's in my hands, I'm copying the little, right I'm copying the little seven mil like right back. Like, ben, no. ben White's a player. Yeah. And he's been and, and Tommy Yasu's right Tommy Yasu's cold as well, bro. Nah, we don't need a rap back. Not cold, bro. Tommy Yasu's right. not cold. No. Tommy Yasu's cold, yeah. And he's and he can play across the three positions. He's cold. Against Man City it was embarrassing. I was there watching it live in Zinchenko the flesh. Zinchenko was embarrassing he's against through. Liverpool. Zinchenko's bro. been poor that don't mean most he's not games. Cold. Come on. Uh Steve O, you're the neutral. Who's finishing higher in the league table? Man United or Arsenal next, next season? Next season, um Man United. Yeah, hundred percent. Huh? Sounds about right. Huh? What a delayed reaction I had. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, man. I just, I just see that there. You can see they're getting an identity. Mm. And an uh, identity. Well, we're not. Under you don't we are. No, you are as well. But I, I just you, think I that you. they're gonna push more than you're gonna push. They're gonna spend we probably, more. We probably have that's that all. new owner money yeah, as well. That's all. That's true. It's tight. It's very. But you've very always tight. had money over. Harry Kane so probably gonna land. Do you reckon? I'd love that. I don't really want him, but I kind of feel. I think you're gonna have a really horrible surprise next year. It's not gonna be the striker you want. If we are, I don't mind us not getting Kane because I'm not completely sold, but I think we just grow up, man. You're not completely but, sold on Harry Kane. Right. No, like, just leave him Wait, alone. What? Leave what him alone. Say? This, is, this, is, yeah. this is bad stuff. <laughs> Rather big daddy, but, bit but I'm glad I'm glad we gave Steve O his moment. Steve O, thanks for having your moment because who's got 
Who's going down, Adam? Oh, <laughs> you. Southam <laughs> Southampton, Leicester, and hopefully Leeds. <sighs> Lippy. Like Leeds Lippy, who's going down? Hey, Nas. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying Leicester, Bournemouth, and Leeds. Bournemouth are six, seven points clear, you know, bro. I don't care, bro. I've said it. <laughs> The, the right back's not good enough. He's in Kale, this is Kale's ball, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just kick it to the right back. He, he weren't ready. Jordy? I think I'm going to go with McCullough's one. Um, was? Southampton, Leicester, Leeds. Margs, who's going down? Southampton. Because if they stay up, that means they beat Arsenal. Don't see it. We called that, by the way, at the start of the season. They're going. Yeah, yeah, very early, yeah. Leicester, Before Everton. Before the season started. Leicester, Everton. Everton did look smelly against Fulham the other day. Forest are decent at home, man. Ain't one in five. What? You've been playing that. Ain't lost bit. either. <laughs> yes, they have. <laughs> They've lost four of their last five. <laughs> they weren't, were not at home. No, you beat them yesterday. Them. Don't watch ball game. You beat them yesterday at home, bro. Yeah, but that's, that was us. We're good. Yeah, we're decent. Miles, what are you saying? Who's going down? Um, Forest, Leicester and Everton. Everton, yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh, poet, what do you reckon? Southampton, Everton, West Ham. Oh, you said that because of me, you mug. But, um, <laughs> he looked at you when you said it. Steve-O, what are you saying? I think it's Southampton, Southampton, Forest, and I know Bournemouth are on a little bit of a run. Well done, Gary, who's in my England team. Told um, you, going down, bro. My England school boys. team. Oh, schoolboys, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> player, player, player. But, um... No, 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 yeah, I think Bournemouth could get Bournemouth think, down, man. They ain't worse than Forest and Everton, man. No way, man. I know that's why I said Forest are going down. I'm going to go with Southampton, Leicester, Forest, as it is right now, just because it's safe, but also because uh, when you watch them, they're really bad teams. Everton's bad, though, as well. They're all bad down there. Boys, um, feel free at five. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Adam McCola, thanks for coming. Thank you for having You're me, You're welcome man. anytime. I'm a huge fan of the show. I'm anytime. Man. Family tree, man. One of the best in the game. I love him. I love you. Nah, good United fan, man. It's about three of them. All the comments that are like, <laughs> all of the comments that are like, why don't you ask him about the time he said that Eric Cantona was better than Platini? Or, oh, I'm not. I'll skip skip this episode. McCola. Now, nah, Arsenal fans don't don't want it with me. <laughs>